Hello, How To Bob here, and it's time to change the rear tire on my 2016 Kawasaki Versys. Got a rack here that I used to lift the bike up, put it on the axles in that area, and just push down on it. It raises the rear wheel off the ground. So my first step is to move the cotter pin that's holding the axle, and you can see it's kind of bent up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I got two adjustable wrenches. Put one on each side of the axle and loosen up the bolt and nut here. Once I get that loosened up, I can take it off. Next, there's going to be a washer on there. Take that off and save it. And I'm going to use a rawhide hammer. You can use a rubber mallet if you have one of those to tap the axle all the way through. And I need a little punch here to get the axle all the way through. Once I get it through enough, I can grab it and wiggle the tire around a little bit, the back wheel, shake it back and forth, and pull out on the axle. It will work its way out. And twist it. There we go. Got it out of there. So now I don't have to take off the caliper to get the wheel out. You can if you'd like, but I don't need to. It'll slide right out. Once I drop the tire down, I want to disconnect the chain. And I can pull the caliper over and gently work the wheel out from behind the brake caliper. I'm going to take both the spacers out, one on each side, and put those away for safekeeping for reassembly. And I noticed that the brake pads are pretty well worn, so it is a good time to replace the brake pads at this time so here we go they're pretty well worn so i loosen up my caliper pin using an eight millimeter socket and remove that and then i can replace my brakes i've got some new ebc brakes here and i want to start out by using some disc brake quiet nothing's worse than stopping and having squealing brakes so i'll apply a little bit of that along the back of the pads and smear it around with my finger let it dry a little bit and basically what that does put a little rubber coating on the back and keeps it from squealing when you hit the brakes and keeps everything nice and quiet so i want to press my caliper back to make room for the added brake pad material and i've got everything ready to put back together so i'm going to use some ceramic brake disc grease just makes everything slide back and forth good. I want to make sure I don't get it on the rotor or on the pads. But there's a little channel in the back here. You can see it right in here. And that's where the pads slide back and forth. I want to make sure I put a little bit of grease on there. And then also the caliper pin or the brake pad pin. Then I can put my pads back in place. You see it's spring-loaded here. I got it in the channel. Once I get it in the channel and the spring is pushing up on it, I can then put my pin back in and get the next pad in place and slide my brake pad pin into place. Got to get all the brake pads lined up here and then I'll tighten that down using my eight millimeter socket once I get it hand tight here. Okay, next. I'm going to take my axle out, clean it up a little bit, add a little grease to it, add a little grease to the bearings and the spacers, just wheel bearing grease that I'm using here. I'll smear it around the spacer. Then I'll also add a little bit of grease into the bearing area in the hole. It just helps the axle slide back in. And you can also grease up the axle. I'm going to grease up the other spacer on the other side and do the same process I did on the opposite side. Grease up the hole inside and slide it in the bearing area. Just pack a little bit of grease in there. It doesn't hurt. So after trying to put the wheel back on, some trial and error, I found it easier to take the caliper off just to get everything lined up with the brakes in the rotor. So I went ahead and took the brake caliper off. And then I can slide my tire in, put the chain around the axle, 
and work it in. You can see the chain's kind of loose right there. And I want to line up my axle hole, keeping the spacers in place. There was just so much going on to line the brakes up, keep the spacers in, got the chain. I decided to take the brakes off and do it that way. Once I get it kind of lined up here with my chain around the hub and the rear wheel, I can start working my axle back in. Just wiggle the rear wheel back and forth and I can tap it in with my mallet here. And you wanna make sure you have your chain tensioner turned the correct way. You can see on the other side, it's starting to come through. Okay, I've got the axle going all the way through now. Before I put my chain tensioning blocks on, I want to go ahead and put my chain on, and I just loop it over the top and roll the wheel in reverse until the chain pops on. Then I can push the axle all the way in. By having it loose like that, it allows the wheel to slide forward and the chain to go on without any issues. You can see I've got my adjustment lines and you got to make sure that that's pointing towards the top here and I can put my adjuster block in. You might have to wiggle the wheel around a little bit to get it to fit in but that goes in pretty good. So next I'm going to add the flat washer and then the nut. Tighten that up by hand and I will generally leave that loose until I get everything adjusted. My chain uh, my axle, everything, brakes put on. So I'm going to start working on the brakes now. And I get my pads over top of my rotor. And I like to use a little Loctite on the brakes. Make sure everything's good on those. Just tighten down my brake pad pin. And I put a little Loctite on that as well. Now I'm going to Tighten down the caliper bracket bolts and I'll tighten that down to 25 foot pounds of torque. Next, I'm going to tighten down the axle nut. I've got an adjustable wrench again on each side and I just keep turning it till it gets snug. Once I get it snug, I'm going to line up the hole so I can put my cotter pin in to find the right side that fits. Might have to crank it down a little bit more and then flare over the ends of the cotter pin. And that's how you remove and replace the rear wheel on a 2016 Kawasaki Versys. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.